Good afternoon or good evening. This is Esau Williams with Focus on Africa from the BBC World Service on what's a sunny but slightly windy afternoon here in London. And coming up, over, after over a year of delays due to lockdown, the Zimbabwe Festival returns to the UK. Now we focus first on Ethiopia today, where it's 1806 local time, as the government there has described as, quote, the work of a mad dog, end quote, the demands of rebels in the northern region of Tigray. Yesterday, in an interview with the BBC, the man in charge of the Tigrayan forces, General Sakan Gebri Tense, vowed to keep fighting until a blockade on the region is lifted and the federal government accepts its conditions for a ceasefire. At the end of the day, ultimately, we will definitely regain our territory. But at present, the main objective is to break the blockade and at the same time pressurize the government to accept our conditions for ceasefire and ultimate political solution. Well, that was yesterday. Today, the Minister for Democratization, Zadik Abraha, told the BBC that Tigray People's Liberation Front, or TPLF, had what he called, quote, a false sense of power and would be forced out when and if the government decided to take action. This is all coming out of a false sense of power. We are in a unitary argument uh, ceasefire. And if you want to see the showdown, you got to wait for some uh, weeks. When we run out of patience, we'll see how we are going to drive them from each and every city and village of Tigray. If they want war, they will have it. Because the TPLF, you are talking about the leadership of the TPLF. The Tigrians, they are Ethiopians. They will always be Ethiopians. I'm not talking about the Tigrians. I'm talking about the leadership, the mad dog of the TPLF, who is doing all these things. Well, meanwhile, the United Nations, the new United Nations Under Secretary of State for Under Secretary for Humanitarian Affairs, uh, Martin Griffiths, is in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa, and he was due to hold a press conference today about the humanitarian situation in Tigray. Well, our Ethiopia correspondent, Kalkidan Yibeltal, is in Addis Ababa and he's on the line to me now. So, uh, Kalkidan, has the government come forward with any response at all to um, the conditions of a ceasefire with the TPLF? Uh, well, there hasn't been any official statement yet, but as the Minister of Humanitarian Zadi said that it doesn't seem that the government is going to be okay with this pre uh, preconditions presented by the TPLF leadership. Uh, it, it, I mean, some of the leadership, it looks like they are not going to be well with the government. So one of the things that they were saying is uh, for some sort of a transitional arrangement uh, to be uh, to be had in Ethiopia, uh, and uh, I mean winning. Uh, an election in, in uh, last June in a landslide, the government, it doesn't look like they are going to be okay with that one. So while we don't have an official statement yet, but the general sentiment from the government seems to be what is ex expressed by uh, that is the nature of dem democratization, and that is a rejection of these preconditions. And so uh, apologies for the quality of the line, but um, let's persevere, Kalkidan. So after what the Ethiopian government said today, and before which, of course, they're responding to what the TPLF said yesterday, um, this seems to be a bit of a stalemate. Uh, indeed, yes. Uh, almost uh, close to nine months now in this conflict, and uh, we're not seeing an end in sight, and we don't seem to be uh, uh, seeing a clear winner of this conflict. Both sides, both the TPLF and the, the federal government, they are... Uh, mobilizing their forces, and we're uh, hearing reports of, you know, new and renewed clashes along the borders with the Gwai and other regions, as well as, uh, you know, uh, uh, both of them are vowing that they're going to be victorious. So it seems that we are in an impasse uh, in this deadly conflict. And quickly and very briefly, I mean, any response from any of the international players at all? Uh, the international players, they have been, you know, uh, calling repeatedly for a peaceful resolution and for some sort of negotiations among among the warring parties, but the government said that they have declared a unilateral ceasefire and now the TPLF has to respect that for humanitarian reasons, but the TPLF have been saying that uh, they need a negotiated ceasefire. So uh, the, the international community has been calling for a peaceful resolution, something that we have not been seeing in the past uh, nine months now. Kalkidan Yibeltal in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. Thank you very much indeed. And once again, apologies for the poor quality of the line.